You guys asked for it, and who am I to deny you what you want? Today, we're talking Paul John Classic Select Cask. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Paul John Classic Select Cask. Now, this is an Indian whiskey from the Paul John Distillery, which was founded by Paul B. John in 1996. Now, for about 12 years, they were blenders, but then they started releasing single malts in 2008. Good idea. <laughs> but they are based out of Bangalore, and their main single malt distillery is based out of Goa, which is a much more tropical area, and that's going to matter when we start talking about the nosing and the tasting. So if you're interested in learning more about the history of uh, Paul John Distillery and about how one man's trip from India over to Scotland really kind of spearheaded the Indian whiskey industry, then check out the video up there or at the end of the video for the Paul John Brilliance. But this whiskey is an unpeated single malt whiskey produced by John Distilleries in Goa. It's been matured in X bourbon barrels and bottled without chill filtration at cask strength, in this case 55.2% ABV. Now, what does the term select cask actually mean? Well, short answer is absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just a marketing term. It really means that the head distiller just picked out some barrels that they like to meet a flavor profile, and that's the flavor profile of this. Now, obviously, they sell enough of these that they can't just pick, you know, a few barrels and put that out as a special edition. They've got to make thousands of these things. So you are doing a lot of work to try to meet a flavor profile, but these are still barrels being selectively chosen by the head distiller. So it makes a little bit of sense, and it's kind of the job of the head distiller to do exactly that. If you're making the same profile day in, day out, it's kind of boring, and I have that from a good authority from some of the master distillers I've tasted to. Is It's a job, you know, and at some points it's a boring job, even though you're drinking whiskey all day. Oh well, you're I'm not really gonna, you know, my heart's really not bleeding for him. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the nosing and the tasting here. So the nose here is very tropical. Um, pineapple comes to mind right away, but there's also something else here, which is interesting. So although when you think tropical, it's light, fruity, citrus, right? But there's also this apple pie. It's a warm, inviting apple pie kind of nose to it. And it's very interesting. It's all very uplifting um, and and just nice. There's, there's some honey in there as well. Um, I wouldn't say it's terribly complex. It's just pleasant and nice and fruity. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers to you. Interesting thing happens when you sip this whiskey. Good times. <laughs> Good times happen. It's it's tasty. You know, right off the bat, the, the classic thing I always say, is it good or is it not good? Is it not your thing? This is very much my thing. In fact, so much so that for those of you who have tasted this before, if you have other whiskeys that meet a similar flavor profile to this, select, uh, suggest them below because I'd love to try them. Um, I love nice, honeyed, tropical, light, pleasant whiskeys. And in this case, that's what it is. Um, the first thing I'm tasting, however, is in fact that apple pie. And I think that's very cool. I, I love getting that flavor. Just a warm, inviting sense of, of just delicious, <laughs> right? And then there's pineapple, which is one of my favorite fruits. I just love pineapple. I'll eat it all the time that pineapple and strawberries, just in case anybody's paying attention. Um, there's also honey there, uh, quite a bit, actually. The whole thing is just light and very good. Um, trying to think about it, maybe a little, well, the nutmeg kind of goes along with the um, apple pie, but I'm gonna call it out specifically because it stands out to me. Um, it's not just an over, just warm apple pie collective synergy thing. It's that plus, a little bit more abundance of nutmeg. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the tasting notes and the nosing notes. Now here's my overall. Um, I hate it, right? <laughs> Obviously. All right, so here's my thing. I think this is kind of the perfect this time of year whiskey. 
uh, for anybody watching in the future, this is the fall of 2020, um, which is actually kind of an apt name for the entire world. <laughs> and during this year, it's the fall of 2020. Um, anyway, so during this time of year, it's, I'm living in New England, it's getting colder, and the summer is kind of a fading memory. I like this whiskey to remind me of that. It's warm and inviting with that apple pie taste, but it's reminiscent of what I just had through the summer and all the happiness and fun times and outdoors and, you know, pineapple, <laughs> right? And grilling and all these things. Obviously no smoke, but just all of those things come back to my memory. And what is whiskey if not a, a good way to reminisce about something that it reminds you of? You know, that's why we focus so much on the nosing and the tasting is those are very strong ties to our brain, you know? Those senses really evoke memory and, and, and feeling. And for me, that's what this is. This is reminding me of, you know, honestly, like three or four weeks ago when it was the middle of the summer and we were just having a great time. And I like this whiskey a lot. I'm not gonna say anything about nostalgia. I don't think it's a nostalgia thing because uh, I really don't have nostalgia for this. I just have strong memories tied to the flavors and the scents and everything that I get out of here. Um, I would suggest this as a buy it. I think this is a buy it at 60 to $65 in my area. I think this is definitely a buy it. And I would suggest you buy it soon if you want to, because you could enjoy it this time of year. Go sit out on your deck. You know, it's getting a little cold, you know, put a, put on a hoodie, go sit out on your deck, stare at your land or whatever. If you live in an apartment, stare out at the parking lot. It doesn't matter. Just experience the temperature and the memories and drink the whiskey. So buy it. <laughs> So thank you very much for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Cheers.